Hey Blaze, I'm Brianna and welcome back to my channel. Hey, so today we have a little bit of a special guest. This is Ruger. He is um, one of my doggies um, and he is kind of napping right now. I didn't want to disturb him while I was recording. So he's just going to kind of hang out while I am filming this video and hopefully he cooperates with us. But he's just taking a little nap. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the July 2020 Beacon Book Box and the theme for this box is Magical Deceptions. Um, it took a little bit longer for this box to get here this month um, because the book was released later in the month and um, one of the items got held up um, as it was on its way. So um, I am super excited. I think the wait made me even more excited to open this box. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So here is our box. I'm gonna go ahead and open. I have not peeked at it yet, it's brand new. So here is our first glance at this box and I'm already seeing that there's a big item on top so that's super exciting. So here is the artwork for this month for the spoiler card for Magical Deceptions. That is super cool. I love that they included the phases of the moon and the wand coming off with the skull on it kind of reminds me, it gives me a Harry Potter theme. Um, the dark mark is one of that, that reminds me of, so that is really neat. There's the big item on top. I'm going to go ahead and open that. So here is the packaging. How do I open this? And a little zipper top plastic bag oh my goodness this is so exciting Let's see that is. it's so big <gasps> oh my goodness this is so exciting okay so it looks like it's a big maybe a beach towel I gotta hold it up so I can read it it says it's a quote it says the truth is what I make it could Hold on, I can't, I can't read it, it's so big. All right, the truth is when I make it, I could set this world on fire and call it rain. And that is from Red Queen Victoria Aviard. And I am so excited for this because I'm actually listening to that book on audio right now and I'm really enjoying it. So this is super exciting that I have this to go with it. And I also got a bookmark from the last box, a metal bookmark that I, um, had added onto that box for that book that has the quotes. And this is my second Red Queen item and I'm super excited for that. So I'm gonna hold it up so you can have kind of a better look at it. It's a huge item. Beach towel, that is super cool. Well, that is a great way to start this box. I'm gonna just kind of lay this over here. Ruger can have a little blankie for his, for his nap. Okay. And then we also have this little white box, which looks like the ornament that comes in every Beacon Book Box. I'm excited to see what fandom this is from. Whoops. Let's see. I don't know what that's from. I feel like this is something that I should know. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see it up there. Um, I feel like this is from something that I should know, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, maybe, oh, that's where the top goes. So it goes like this. I was holding it wrong. It looks like the design goes like that because the hole's at the top where you would hang it. So that is our ornament for this month. There you go. So kind of a neat design. I'm just curious to what that's from. But I'll read the spoiler card at the end and we'll find out what that is from. Okay. okay, so it looks like, oh, it's sunscreen. We've got a tube of sunscreen here. Um, and it says, Carolee's sunscreen inspired by four dead queens, moisturizing protective cream. Reveals a bright 30 skin in seconds. A bright 30 skin in seconds. Moisturizing protective cream. 
The soft and cool texture can isolate the pollution of the skin from the external environment, at the same time prevent the loss of skin moisture and nutrients. Okay, pretty cool. I'm going to smell it. I like smelling sunscreen. Oh, that actually doesn't smell like typical sunscreen. It's kind of got a fruity smell to it. So I'm excited to use this um, and see how it works. I've never had a book inspired sunscreen before, so that's interesting. And I'm really not familiar with the book Four Dead Queens. I'll have to look into that. I've never read that book. So if you have read that and you want to tell me about it, drop a comment. I would love to hear about it since it's not a book that I'm familiar with. Just a second. Oh my goodness. We got an enamel pin and this is my first enamel pin from a book subscription box that's one item that I know comes in a lot of book subscription boxes that I've been super excited to get I would love to be able to get some pin banners to start hanging those up and decorating my walls with them um, and this pin is absolutely beautiful it is from City of Brass let me hold this up so that you guys can see it let's try to get it as close as I can get it it's beautiful and it's shiny and glittery. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited to add that to start my collection. Not add it to my collection, but I'm so excited to start my pin collection. And this is my very first one. And I'm sure I will always remember that. That is so exciting. And then as always, we get a recipe um, with the Beacon Book Boxes. And so here's the artwork on the front of the recipe card. And it's the same artwork that is on the towel. It has that quote from Red Queen that I read. Um, the truth is what I make it. I could set this world on fire and call it rain. That's from Red Queen. And the recipe is for Scarlet Guard Red Velvet Cake. Oh my goodness, Red Velvet is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna have to make this because I just love Red Velvet and just knowing that it's inspired by Red Queen, the book that I'm reading on audiobook right now, that is so exciting. So I'll show you, there's the recipe on the back. I might have to do a video making that cake. That would be pretty cool. Just making all of the Beacon Book Box recipes, the bookish inspired recipes. It's a good idea. I think I might do that. Okay, so I'm really excited that our book this month is coming in a bag. It's Guard Your Mortal Heart. So that's, here's the bag that the book came in. It's pretty neat. I like that it's got green on it too. I don't have a bag like this that's green. Yeah got this pocket here in the front yeah I could definitely see myself using that I all I love bags okay so here is the book okay the book is called splinters of scarlet by Emily Bain Murphy it says the truth is a thread only her magic can unravel so there's the cover And the back says, Jacob was right. My father's death wasn't an accident. More people will die. He knew something, and whatever he knew got him killed. It's got an interesting cover. Like some kind of needlework is what it looks like. Like a rose, rose needlework. It's pretty neat. Let's see what it looks like. We do have a letter from the author here in the front cover. So that's pretty cool. I might read that here in a minute. Um, let's see what it looks like without the oops dropped it see what it looks like without so it's red and it has um gold kind of gold foil lettering on the spine that's really pretty i love that red color and it should be signed by the author there it is so as always the beacon book box um, book of the month is signed by the author right here it's pretty cool i love to add that to my collection and let's go ahead and read the blurb. So the blurb says, For Merritt Olson, magic is all about strategy. It flows freely through her blood, but every use leaves behind a deadly ice-like buildup within her veins called the fern. Merritt knows how dangerous it is to let too much fern build up. After all, it killed her sister, and she has vowed never to use her thread magic. But when Eve, a fellow orphan who Merritt views as a little sister, is adopted by the famous ballerina Helena Vestergaard, Merritt will do anything to stay by Eve's side. She decides to risk the fern and uses magic to secure a job as a seamstress in the Vestergaard household. 
But Merritt has a second hidden agenda. Her father died while working in the Vestergaard's jewel mines, and it might not have been an accident. The closer Merritt gets to the truth about the Vestergaard family, the more she realizes she and everyone she's come to love are in danger. When she finds herself in the middle of a treacherous deception that goes all the way up to the King of Denmark, magic may be the only thing that can save her if it doesn't kill her first. Dun dun dun! That sounds really good. It doesn't sound like something that I would just normally pick up and read, so um, I'm interested to see if I like it. Um, I might have to do a reading vlog on that and check in after about 50 pages or so to see how it goes. Um, but it does sound very interesting, not anything I've read before. Um, <clears throat> and now I know why there is needlework on the front cover. There's definitely an obvious tie-in to that story. So. That's exciting um, to get this book. The books are always beautiful that come in the Beacon Book boxes. So yeah, definitely interested in checking that out. So this is a really good box. Um, this is only my second Beacon Book box and I do purchase these myself. So all of my opinions are my own. Um, I definitely think that this box um, I liked even more than the first box that I got for June. Um, and if you wanna check out that video or unbox that video, you can just check that out here. So, I definitely think my favorite item, all right, my favorite item has to be the towel, just because it is Red Queen, and I'm reading that right now, and it's a big item, a very usable item. Um, I'm very much looking forward to using this and showing it off. Um, my least favorite item... It'd probably be the sunscreen that just seems really random to me um, and it almost looks like it's just kind of a regular tube of sunscreen that's had a different label slapped on there I'm kind of tempted to peel the label off a little bit to see if there's something else underneath there but it kind of just looks like a regular tube of sunscreen that's just had a, a different label stuck on it so I don't know. I could be completely wrong. It could have been made like this, um, but I definitely think this is my least favorite item just because it is so random. I probably will still use it. Um, it's just the other items in this box are just stellar compared to that. So yeah, so let's look at the filler card and see if I missed anything and also see where a couple of those items came from that I wasn't sure about. So let's see. Here it is. Okay, we got the exclusive Red Queen Beach Towel, which is designed by Abby Malaga, Malaga Art. I don't know what that says. Um, we got the exclusive Cruel Prince inspired room spray. What? Oh, this might be from the Cruel Prince. I do remember um, there was a, I think an Instagram post from Beacon that said that um, um, the Cruel Prince inspired room spray, I think they the, they said something about the cruel prince inspired item um, they couldn't get um, so they had to switch it out with something else so I'm thinking that the bag might be the switch for that um, that sounds like something that would come from the cruel prince I could be totally wrong but we also got the exclusive city of brass enamel pin um, the exclusive four dead screen sun four four dead screen the exclusive four dead queen sunscreen with artwork Katarina book designs I'm guessing that's the artwork on the front. Um, we got the <laughs> exclusive seventh of the 12 month collectible ornaments. And that was from A Darker Shade of Magic. So the ornament, this ornament, I have not read that series. So I'm not super familiar with that. That's probably why I didn't know. But this ornament is from A Darker Shade of Magic. So that's what that fandom's from. Um, then we got the Baking with the Beacons, the Scarlet Guard Red Velvet Cake Recipe, and the signed copy of Splinters of Scarlet by Emily Bay Murphy. So I think we got everything, um, since I do think that the Cruel Prince inspired item had to be swapped out. Um, so it's supposed to be Room Spray. I think I kind of like the bag even better, so I'm totally happy with that. Um, but yeah, I think we got everything, um, and I do think this is a wonderful box. I'm really excited because um, it is August 2nd. I'm recording that today, and in two days is the release of Stephanie Meyer's new Twilight book, 
um, Midnight Sun and I have purchased the um, special edition Beacon Book Box for that book. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that and I'll definitely do an unboxing video when I get that so you can see what's in it. I'm super excited for that. That'll be awesome. Um, but yeah, I think this box is great. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below um, what your favorite item was or least favorite item. Um, or if you opened some really great book subscription boxes um, in the month of July and you got some cool items you'd like to share, let me know um, in the comments below. But if you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more, and you might want to join my small community of booklies, which are bookworms or lovers of all things bookish as I am, um, this video and subscribe to my channel. I would be thrilled to get to know you and have you join this community. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!